We're here to learn for, from your experience in hosting the, the World Cup. Mexico and, and, the, and the countries of the GCC countries have very similar have similar interests and also we share uh, some values, we share some objectives and some targets. So we're trying to increase our relations, not only in terms of uh, commerce, but also on the financial services. And that's one of the reasons we are here. We are trying to increase this, uh, this linkage between the, two, between the two nations. This is the first time that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Finance are doing a diplomatic mission together. Uh, so we're very excited about it, and we have a very well reception of, of all the our counterparts here in, in, in Qatar. Mm -hmm. Trying to increase connectivity for tourism in the peninsula of Yucatan. Mm -hmm. We're also uh, increasing our investments in energy, so we need to provide energy to growth in, this, in southern Mexico, and also trade facilitation in the Itzmo de Tehuantepec. That means that we would like to uh, be an option for trade facilitation, for the trade that comes from Asia, to the east coast of, of, of United States, and also to create a market uh, that can be integrated with the, uh, for trade with the Central American countries. And, and that's part of the, practically that's the objectives of these three flagship projects that we're trying to achieve. We think that to the extent that we finish this, uh, these projects, there will be several, I mean, we will set up all the basic infrastructure for, for, for private sectors to come in and take advantage of this infrastructure. So we do think that eventually there are going to be a lot of opportunities for, for private investment there. Uh, also for financial services, we will need them. Uh, you know, there's a, like a real estate business that's going to be developed because we want to develop 10 industrial parks there. And I think uh, that could be of the interest of, of, of several private firms. We're here to learn up for, from your experience in hosting the, the World Cup. You know, this is pro Mexico is not the first time that we'll host the, the World Cup, but it's the first time that we're going to share it with three countries. So that needs a lot of coordination among, among the bloc, North American bloc. Uh, but also, I guess, uh, this is a good opportunity to, you know, to, to put all the three countries in the attention of the world. Uh, that means a lot of co coordination. You know, there's a lot of logistics around that. Uh, an economic spillover that uh, benefits uh, the, the three nations. Um, there are a lot of arrangements that need to be done. I'm actually part of the, I'm from the financial side, I'm, I'm part of assessing how to support on, on the tax, for example, tax structures. So it's very exciting for us to, to participate and to expect uh, how the World Cup is going to evolve. And we are here also to learn. So uh, we're asking our, uh, here in Qatar, trying to learn how you manage uh, successfully to, 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 to receive here, to host the, the World Cup in, in, your, in your city. I mean, we're part of the OPEC. Uh, plus, and but also we do have a lot of collaboration. Qatar firms are uh, shareholders of some of the oil firms that are operating in the Gulf of Mexico. So I do think that there's a good relation there. But there are some other opportunities. For example, in food security, uh, water desalination, you know, infrastructure, financial services, dipping in our financial sectors. I just went with the uh, with the Qatar Investment Authority. They are thinking about how to propose initiatives to deepen your, fi your financial sectors. We're doing almost the same, so we want to cooperate in that. Um, but also, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities in terms of developing real estate uh, and to increase trade. And that's important for both nations because, you know, we have a, a very good uh, diplomatic relations, but that doesn't reflect on the, on the trade flows that we have uh, between Qatar and Mexico. So I guess, um, Participating in the, in the Qatar Expo in, in 2023 will be a very good opportunity for Mexico uh, and we will be very happy to, to explore more options to increase our trade among the two nations. I know uh, that there are some ex exports from Mexico to, to Qatar and, and, as, and from Qatar to Mexico as well, but we do think that we can go beyond oil and gas and participate in other, uh, other uh, aspects of the economy. GCC countries uh, have all these sovereign funds. They are indirect investment investors in uh, in Mexico, no. So they usually they invest uh, through other other financial vehicles. Uh, so we have they do have some some uh, investment positions in in our country. We have been flexibilizing our financial sector in order to bring more of these investments. Uh, we want 
or to deepen our financial sector. We want to increase uh, operations and fi financial services. And that means that we need to deregulate, to simplify process in, in, our, in our markets. Also, we are aiming to have um, a financial hub in Mexico that can operate or, or a financial center that can be of benefit of the region. And that means that we would like other issuers to come to our market to raise money uh, and so we can provide them also financial sectors. Integrating these financial sectors with regions such as the GCC uh, countries, it is an, it's an strategic, uh, it's an strategic position for us. This is my first time in, in, in the region, in, in Qatar. Uh, I have never been here before. I, obviously, I always hear about Qatar. Uh, but what I found out in these days here is that we have a lot of similarities, cultural similarities, but also common objectives. Uh, I guess in the future, what I'm imagining is that uh, there are going to be more trade. I think, and hopefully there will be more Mexican products here, but also Qatari products in, in Mexico. I think there are also going to be cross investment among the two regions. Uh, there are some Mexican firms that are already operating here and Qatari there, so we can, we can, we can increase that. Um, hopefully we will have more connectivity among the two nations. And, and that's the future that I see for, for, this, uh, for this. I don't want to call now integra integration, but I guess in the future we want to be um, uh, transitioning toward, toward, toward this intense uh, commerce, this intense financial services, interaction, uh, investments, etc. No? There are a lot of opportunities here in Qatar. Uh, also, the, you are open for business. You want to bring more investments in, 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 in your country. And I think uh, we have a lot of complementarity. So I will urge uh, Mexican investors to explore these opportunities. Uh, I, I have found out that there are several or like three Mexican restaurants that are famous here in, in Qatar. So I guess there are so other opportunities there. And also to send a message to Qatar in uh, uh, firms to explore the Mexican market or Mexican economy. Uh, we will be very grateful and you are very welcome to obviously invest in our country. No?